Karman, the 2011 winner of the Nobel Peace Prize along with two other recipients. In presenting the award to her in Oslo on 10th of December 2011, the chairman of the Norwegian Nobel Committee said in part, Yemen is a country in the world which has made the least progress where women's rights are concerned. In her home, Peace Prize laureate Tawakol Karman keeps pictures of her heroes, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, and Hillary Clinton. Many years before the Arab Spring 2011, she was a young person and a female activist. She became a journalist and founded the organization called Women Journalists Without Chains. She organized peaceful sit-ins and information campaigns. She trained other women to take part in this struggle. The quotation continues. In 2011, she was one of the leaders of the demonstrations on Change Square in Sana'a. She was imprisoned. She was exposed to serious threats, but nothing stopped her. Day after day, she has campaigned against President Ali Abdullah Saleh and for democracy, for human rights, for women's rights, and tolerance. She advocated an understanding between Shiites and Sunnis and between Islam and other religions. What Karman achieved in a short space is incredible. As a 32-year-old, she is the youngest laureate in the history of the Peace Prize, the end of court. In our studies in political science and international relations, let us not forget, let us always remember that without courageous leaders like Tawakul Karman, movements for democracy, justice, human rights will never occur in this world. With that in mind, please welcome to Shehir University, uh, Tawakku Karma. Thank you so much, and I am so happy and so proud to be here. And I am so proud that my first uh, lecture or meeting is with students. Uh, I, 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 I worked a lot uh, with students and I knew how and what is the importance of a student in improving the countries. So I am so happy to be here, to be with the people who carry the freedom and dignity and democracy uh, values to these people who made the dream is fact. In Yemen, students, they started the revolution against Ali Abdullah Saleh and his bad, his failed and corrupted and dictatorship regime. The students from Sana'a University, after the uh, step down of Ben Ali, he stepped down in uh, 14 uh, uh, of January. Uh, the second day, 15 and 16, they decided, the students here, many they decided to rise the slogan of people wants to step down the regime. I was dream when, uh, yeah, before four or five uh, years, when we were struggling for freedom rights, for anti-corruption, for rule of law, I was dreaming that student will be with us with our struggle in the yani in that field. I made many many lectures in the stu in the university in Sana'a University and with some of people from some college with women. I told them many times that if students marginalize themselves, if youth marginalize themselves, if women 
marginalize herself so all the countries will continue in that options which is failed and dictatorship. Dear, look, we have the responsibility on building this world, not just our countries. This world is our country. The humanity is our nation. So, the responsibility is something came from us, from our, our, our revolution. I always say that we should, you should be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Because of this, you saw the people in Tunisia, after that in Egypt, in Libya, in Syria, and in Yemen. They decided in 2011 to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Before, all of us, or most of us, were part of the problem. When they decided to be silent, when they saw the corruption spread, the attack, attacking of human rights also spread, and also the, the, the development, the, the, poor, the, the, the poverty, is a spirit, and they didn't do anything. They just ask, what can we do? And go back to their home. You have to be the action, you have to own or to act, to act on the action. And you have to lead this action. Don't look for the leader, you have to be the leader. This This slogan must lead also, must carry, must catch by women and by, by youth as priority, as first step. If every woman, if every youth, they said that I am the leader. I am the person who will give the solution and I will create many leaders around me to be also the solution. I think we will solve all the problems, not just in, my, in your country or in your family, it's around the world. That's what happened in Arab Spring, when the woman decided to be part of the solution, decided to be the leader, not the victim, like what happened before. Woman was victims before Arab Spring. When you ask about women in Arab Spring, in Arab countries, what, do you, what, is the, what was the answer? She's in the kitchen, she marginalized, she doesn't have a good position in the public life, she attacked always by her uh, family, by her husband, by her uh, father, by her mother, by, she couldn't, uh, she, she, she didn't have a good decision, she must be at the final seats or final lines. But what happened in the Arab Spring revolutions, countries, women decided to be in the first line, to struggle and to suffer and to be killed for her freedom for her dignity and for the freedom and dignity of all society. When she decided to defend on human rights, she didn't decide to just to defend on the women rights. It's a big and it's very important issue. But she knows that she couldn't reach to the women rights without the human rights. She decided to be a human, not just a woman. She fighted, she struggled, she lead the demonstrations and sitting, and really she targeted, targeted, not because not, not targeted by false, no, because of her leadership. And that's what happened in Yemen, for example, in Taiz, 
especially when they killed Tufaha and Yasmin and Zainab. And also in Egypt, in Syria, in Libya, in Tunis, the woman gave a good example about her responsibility and her achievement. The th same things come to the youth and come to the students. When the students marginalize themselves and doesn't care about public life, believe me, the countries will, be, will go down and down. Students, special students, they have to know that they have to study good. They have to be, to prepare themselves to lead the country, to lead the country, to be a good in teachers or doctors or engineering or etc. But they have also to know that they have, they must have a good positions on all the issues in their countries. Your voice must be heard. All the parties around the countries they have to know that there is youth and there is women that they can decide and they can participate in the future for making the future of their country and making the future of their children. Alhamdulillah, we think and we believe that the most achievements that we gain, not just step down the dictatorship, that's very important, and that is the first step for building our countries and our world. But the first achievement is trust. Trust on ourselves, and also trust from the community on us. Woman now, she trusts herself that she's a leader, and she can create and make and plan for a good future for her and for her children and for all the society and also youth. And the community, the societies also trust on her and on them. So trust is very important. So trust on yourself. You can change the world, not just your country. The world is full with many problems around us. And justice is a big address in this world. We have to solve all the problems around us. And you have to know that you are international citizenship. So trust in yourself, trust on your effort, and start with your country, and know that you, we are in the globalization. We are in a small village. We can work together. We can help each other. We can live with each other. We can spread the peace. The peace is also the big address the big slogan that will lead the world in coming future. Nobel Peace Prize didn't come to Tawakkul as a person. It came to you. The world gave all Muslims people this prize because they changed their mind that Islam is a terrorist religion. It's came, it's also gave to women and youth and to all people without speaking about their religion. All the people who are struggling for freedom and dignity and democracy and equal citizenship. So this is a big responsibility for us, for us, not for me. It's a big responsibility for us to make this world more safe more stable, more respect respectable, more rich, 
So this is our responsibility. And I know that the future is very, very happy. And the future is future of people, not of dictatorship. Rulers. It's future of us. Future of new world which build on international citizenship. International citizenship. Equal citizenship between all the people around the world. This is the human rights. This is the criteria. And this is the the reason of United Nations, which we laid until now. So we will catch on this hand, on, on this reason, and we started to achieve this goal when we started to step down the dictatorship. Ben Ali, Qaddafi, Ali Saleh, Mubarak, Bashar al-Assad, inshallah, in coming days. And and also, I think we will see more than them, not just in Arab spirit, in Arab countries, I think around the world. There is no future for dictatorship in the world. All the dictatorship will go down and will leave the power. And who will lead the power is justice. Thank you so much. Thank you for this extraordinary uh, uh, speech, which was full of warnings about the risks of being silent. Uh, the risks of being silent in the sense that being silent is being part of the problem, as she pointedly uh, uh, told us. Now, she also pointed at the responsibility and the role of the young people and women, in particular, in changing the world. So the floor is open now for you, especially our students, Shehir University students. Okay. 